Howdy. Um, today's short video, hopefully short, is not going to be about blacksmithing, but it's about metalwork, so hopefully it is applicable to something you want to see. Um, I found this piece of trim in the burn pile, and uh, it's from a Crossley Shelvador, which is an old refrigerator, and I thought, I'll see if I can straighten it out. This, this would be a similar exercise to straightening out uh, trim on a classic car. It, it appears to be stainless and after being in uh, an incredibly hot fire and still looking as nice as it does, I'm pretty sure this is a piece of stainless trim. So I've put a piece of plate in the leg vise. I've got a rubber mallet and I'm going to try to straighten it out some and see what I can do. Some of it you can bend by hand, but I want to be careful not to kink it. And by the way, it's noisy because we've got 30 or 40 mile per hour winds today for some reason. It was about 80 degrees yesterday, but uh, there should be some cold weather coming in. So this seems to be a part of that. Luckily this piece of plate just happens to be about the inside width of this trim, so that was an accident, but it's, it should work out well. There's a place that's kinked right here. So I need to try to get it open a little more. So I gotta find a good corner. And hopefully push that that little folded part out. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, this uh, this plate just turned out to be the perfect thickness, so that was lucky. I had a 1960 Buick right after high school and it had some damaged trim, but as I remember, I don't think I ever tried to fix any of it. But I'm quite a bit older now and I'm willing to try a few more things. Another little wrinkle right there, so I'm gonna get it on a corner. So I've got a lot of areas that are stretched out, and um, I don't think that the rubber hammer will knock them in. So once I get this straight, I'm gonna use uh, a regular steel hammer, my bulking hammer, and try to straighten those some. I know there's a good chance of this cracking, but I think this will. Look pretty cool on the wall in here. It certainly wasn't serving any purpose out in the burn pile. Okay, so here's another kink. So, rather than trying to get inside of a corner and knock it out, put that part on the anvil or the block and knock the corner in. There's some places you just can't get a hammer, so you have to figure out what can go in there. Okay, this is a pretty hard bend. I'm going to carefully straighten this out some. There's not, not any good way to do that with a hammer. That's a pretty sharp crease right there. I'm going to see if I can get in there and do what I did with the last one. And that's actually working. There's another sharp, uh, not sharp, curved, but drastic. <laughs> I don't know what the terminology would be, but 
Okay, now I'm going to bend it out a little bit more by hand. Try to be careful to not roll anything under as I hammer this. Just using this plate as a, a form. This end is pretty messed up. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that out. <laughs> I could just cut that off if I want this for a decoration, but for the sake of uh, doing it, let's see if I can get it. Obviously the last thing you want to do is fold something because once you fold it hard you probably fractured the metal and it'll never come back out without cracking. I'm going to try to walk this one across. Okay, that's a pretty bad crease right there. I will I wanted to do this without pliers, but I'm gonna grab this. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I didn't have any sharp pliers around. I'm going to see if I can work this out a little bit with this cold chisel. If I can just get enough room inside of it to get the corner of this plate in there, then I can use the hammer, like I have been, to spread it out. And I'm not going to edit this, I apologize for wasting a few seconds of your time. Famous channel locks. Not really a metalworking tool. Sometimes it's what you need. So I'm going to hold this lip while I knock this other lip down. And hopefully that'll not do anything that I needed it to. <laughs> I knew this part would be a little tricky. Yeah. Alright, well I know this fits in here. So if I work my way across, maybe I can push it out. No. I think that's that's too far gone. I think that if I worked on it a little more with a screwdriver and whatnot, I could probably do it. But for the purposes of this piece of trash that I found in the burn pile, I'll probably just cut this off right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that wind on the video, but it's it's nuts today. Yeah, it's a little too far gone. Okay, well back to the main idea. Okay, it's a lot straighter now. It still looks horrible, but I'm going to continue. Okay, so 
now I've got sharp bends like this where this has been bent over and folded back those are probably never going to go completely back where they need to they're going to want to either fold or tear that doesn't mean I'm not going to try but because they are so sharp you got to use a, a hard hammer not a rubber hammer Oops. almost nipped my thumb there Better to take a lot of little hits than to go crazy with it and break it. So, you can see that's flattening out. That and that were the same. So this one is disappearing. You just have to go slowly. Probably not quite on the right side of the camera for you to see, but I'm not going to move it now. slow and you can see those they just they flatten out they just get absorbed into the the rest of the metal And the ones that aren't so tight are obviously much, much easier. I mean, that, that straightened right out. So, that's the main idea. Um, I didn't plan to make this video, but I just found this thing laying in the trash pile with an old mattress. And I thought it looked cool. So, it says uh, Crosley Shelvador. Um, and if I didn't already say, that's, that's some kind of old refrigerator. Apparently some of them had radios in the door, just like some fridges have flat screen um, computers or TVs in the door. They had a radio back then. Anyway, so you get the idea, and you can see how this, this will straighten out, and I'll just put it on the wall somewhere. Anyway, um, that's probably long enough of a video, and these things take forever for me to upload, so thanks for watching. I'll be back with some blacksmithing as soon as I have time. Thanks.